Today I'm going to show you how to put text behind an image so it looks like this or this or this. Now you've seen this a lot, a lot of magazines will do this, they'll put their logo behind the model's head or behind their body, and you also see it with a lot of travel thumbnails, a lot of tech thumbnails. It's a really cool effect, and I'm going to show you how to do it for free using an app called Snapseed. When you first open Snapseed, you want to tap on the large plus icon in the center of the app. This is where you import your image. So tap on that and go select the image that you want to edit. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to tap on it and it's going to import it into Snapseed. Now one of the first things I do with any image when I bring it into Snapseed is I adjust the saturation and the contrast and I try to give it a little bit of a look, make it pop a little bit so it's more eye-catching. Now the easiest way to do that is make sure looks is selected down at the bottom and it's going to show the filters all lined up along the bottom. Go through and tap on the filters to try to find something that looks great for your image. The ones I use the most are pop and accentuate, but for this one I'm going to keep it on pop. Now you can also do this manually and that's how you can really dial in the look of your image to get it looking exactly how you want. And at the end of this video, I'm going to link out to another video that I made showing you exactly how to do that. It's a lot easier than you think, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Now once you have your filter selected, if you are going to use a filter, tap on the check icon down at the bottom, then tap on tools, and then scroll down to the bottom and tap on text. Now you can see that it's added some default text. It says double tap here to change text. Now this is where we're gonna add the word or words that you wanna put behind your image. So I'm gonna double tap that, and this is where I'm gonna change the text to add my word. Now words are important here, and you wanna choose the correct word or words to add context to the image. This particular image, she's out hiking, she's backpacking, she looks like she's ready for adventure, so adventure is the word that I'm gonna use. Okay, now I have the word adventure on top of the area that I wanna erase, but I wanna make the words a little larger. So I'm gonna use two fingers and I'm going to pinch and zoom and enlarge the text. I can also move it around and place it wherever I want on the image. And you're gonna see the little lines that show up here on the top and the bottom and the left and right. They help you align the text to center things up on the image. Now, I like the size of this, but I'm gonna show you how you can tweak it a little bit more. If you look down at the bottom, you're gonna see this little icon. I don't even know what you call this thing, but if you tap on it, this is where you can choose the fonts. As I tap through the fonts here, you're gonna see that they change. And some of them are easy to read, some of them are difficult to read, and they have a lot of different options here. You choose the one that works best for you. For my thumbnails, I like text to be large and bold and easy to read, plus it just looks a lot better. So I'm gonna run with this one. You can also change the color by tapping on the color palette on the far left, and you can change this to any color that you want. I'm gonna leave it with white, and you can also change the opacity. Now I'm gonna change the opacity for this so I can see through the text to delete it. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add opacity back at the end. Then I'm gonna tap on the check mark on the bottom right. All right, this is looking good so far, but the text is still in front of the image. Let me show you how to fix that. If you look up to the top, you see the little stacks with the arrow going backwards. This is your edit stack. If you tap on that, go down to view edits, what's gonna show up along the bottom right are all the edits that you've done for this photograph. Now, when I tapped on the pop filter, these are the edits that it added built into the pop filter. And then of course, I added text on the very top. So I wanna tap on text and you're gonna see a trash can, you're gonna see a brush icon and you're gonna see a settings icon. What you wanna do is tap on the brush icon in the center. And there goes the text. But that's not a big deal because you can bring the text back by tapping on invert over here on the left hand side. Tap on invert, your text comes back, and this is where the fun begins. Now with two fingers, you wanna pinch and zoom, and you wanna enlarge the image. Now you can see because we changed the opacity, you can see through the text, and that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna take my finger, and I'm just going to start rubbing along and deleting the text. And I'm gonna keep it as close to the edge as possible. Yeah, just like that. Now, if you make a mistake and you erase too much, that's not a problem at all. What you wanna do is go down to where it says zero text and you wanna crank that up to 100 and that's going to bring the text back. Then you can go back and actually paint where the text is and it's gonna bring it right back. And then to remove the text, you go to the other side, tap on that, and bring it down to zero, then you can go back and erase some more. You can do this as many times as you want. I make a lot of mistakes when I do this. So you can add it and delete it and add it and delete it, whatever you have to do to make sure you get a sharp edge. 
Now I still have a lot of text to remove, so I'm gonna speed this process up. I'm gonna play it and fast forward. And then once I have everything deleted and exactly where I want it, I'll come back and explain some more. Now, if this feels a little bit awkward to you and you think that it's too clunky and you can't do it, just keep practicing. The more you do it, the easier this will get. I can delete the text pretty quick on these pictures now because I've done it a lot. And you can do the same thing too, it just takes practice. And now that I've come to the last part here, everything is erased and I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna look at the picture. Now, everything is erased and that looks great. The text is behind the subject model and that's exactly what I want but the text still has a low opacity. Now this looks good and I could run with this and you could do this as well, but I want the text to be more bold. I want people to see it easily. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and tap on the check on the bottom right. I wanna exit this area. Then I'm gonna tap on text again. Then I'm gonna tap on the settings icon on the right hand side. And now it's gonna bring back up the fonts, the opacity and the color changes. So what I wanna do is go back and tap on the center icon this is where we can change the opacity. Then I'm gonna bring it right back up. And don't worry, it's gonna show up on top of the image temporarily, but once I tap on the check mark again, it's going to disappear. And it's gonna show up exactly how I want it to look. Now you can see here on the right, all the edits are still here. Don't touch these. What you wanna do is you wanna go up to the top left-hand side, tap on the back arrow, and it's gonna bring you back to this area inside of Snapseed. This is where you're going to export your image. And by the way, if you wanna see what it looks like before and after, all you have to do is press and hold on the image. This is before and this is after. Before and after. It looks good. Okay, now to export this, what you wanna do is go down to the bottom right-hand side, tap on export, and it's gonna give you a couple of options here. You have save, save a copy, and export. If you save or save a copy, that's gonna allow you to open this image back up to make additional edits to it. Maybe you wanna change the color of the font. Maybe you want to remove the text and add new text. You can do this if you save a copy of it or if you save it, it allows you to make changes after you've saved it. But if you're ready to go and you're ready to export this and you don't think you're gonna make any changes, simply tap on export at the very bottom. It creates a copy with permanent changes. Now at the beginning of this video, I said I would link to another video where you can learn how to make changes manually. That's the video showing on the screen right now. Go ahead and tap on that video and I walk you through the process of learning how to adjust your images manually to make them pop and come to life. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.